my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I want to work on this furniture flip that I have for a collab that I'm doing with several other, other creators. So I wanted to show you the before of this table. This I picked up at the free area at my dump and it's got some condition issues. So the top isn't too bad. It's going to need to be sanded down and um, get some of this stuff off. It's got a really pretty inlay on either side that I really like. So I'm going to sand it down. Hopefully I can get it to look really good and maybe just stain the top. The real issue with this table is that it needs the bottom uh, shelf redone. If you can see, it's all wavy and it's not looking very good. It must have gotten wet at some point. It's peeling off coming off as you can see it's not doing not looking so great go here but besides that this little table is super sturdy so what I want to do is take this apart we have some plywood that we've purchased just for this kind of thing for drawer bottoms for bureau backs for maybe a little shelf for a table so I'm going to take this apart and we're going to cut this down so that in the same shape, we're going to try and use this as a template and um, just lay it down and trace it out and then try and cut it out so that we can put this back together and repaint it. Hopefully get this top to really shine again and this piece hopefully will turn out the way I envisioned, but we'll see. After cutting out the shelf and getting everything sanded down, I realized that one of the legs was a little bit uh, wobbly and loose, so I just wiggled that out all the way, and then I'm going to add some wood glue to the hole and then re-add the leg back in. Now that I have it all together, my little supervisor is going around it and making sure that it's all sanded and smooth. And then I'm going to take some tape with plastic attached and go around the top to cover it up. I'm going to spray the bottom and I don't want that top part where I have already uh, sanded it down and it's looking nice. I want to keep that from getting any of the overspray on it.
Now it's time to take that plastic and tape off and that top is looking so good, so much better than it originally looked. And now I'm gonna take my Fusion hemp oil and try and bring out the natural color of this wood with the oil. So I think this really looks nice and I love the coloring of the wood with this oil on it. And I love that a little bit of this oil goes a long way. Now I did let it sit for a little bit and ended up, uh, once it dried and kind of sucked that oil in, I put another coat of the oil on to make sure that it was nice and hydrated and looking its best. Here you can see the difference I have on the left-hand side where I've added the oil and then the right-hand side, there's a little section there where I did not. And I think that looks so much better with the oil on it. Now for me, the next step is to distress around the edges and a little bit on the legs where it would normally wear. And that gives it a little bit of character. This is a flippin' furniture collab put on by Dawn at Shabby Meets Bling and Zaina at OK at Home DIY. I will have a link down in the description so you can check out all the creators that have joined us in this collab. Now that I've got everything sanded on this table that I want to, I'm taking my antique wax. I'm gonna go over the legs and the new shelf and just richen up that black paint. We're gonna rehydrate it after sanding it. It looks a little bit dull. We wanna rehydrate that and make it look so nice and antique. The legs, I'm hoping the shine will dull down, which it does. And it just gives us a nice finished sealed look. And I really love how the antique wax just makes it look so nice. Hope you enjoyed this flipping furniture friday video and if you did let me know down in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and check out that playlist have a great day